So part 7, let's see what we got here. First we have to do and maybe the most important thing in this tutorial is knitting surfaces and thickening, thickening them all in, in one body as you can see it comes out very well. You uh, arrows to fix using the space one fillet to do and still cutting extruding and scalping surfaces to model and that should be everything for today let's go hi welcome to part 7 so in previous part we were having some errors <laughs> sorry i'm having some insects here uh, <laughs> It's so hot outside and that's why I'm gonna walk slowly today, I don't wanna make some errors. So for a start let's hide this surface because we're not working on the uh, lid right now. And go to surfaces tab and use knit surface to knit all these things together. So you're having only one gap between these Oh, sorry, I, I noticed something strange on my screen. And next thing, what, what we need to do is offset surface by zero. No, sorry. Select the surface knit and then go to offset surface uh, zero millimeters. Click OK. Let's see how it looks like on the surface. Hide the surface knit. And okay, we just wanna have these surfaces saved if something goes wrong. So hide surface offset and use surface knit to thicken it to a body. That's why it was so important to make all surfaces perfect and make sure it goes inside. So thickening go to inside, not to outside. You can merge result. Click OK. It's gonna take some time depending on your on your, on your PC. My is overheating right now. So it's worked. I can't believe save the work right now. <laughs> and what I can see here is something I don't like. So everyone is, are saying that soil work is not well it's not good enough for fixing mistakes. Well, I don't think so. Go to delete face and go to delete and fill, but uh, don't do not select tangent fill. So selections is these two surfaces. Show preview and click OK. So that's what I wanted to see. And same same thing here. Delete face, delete and fill, no tangent fill, select these two faces, you can show preview if you're not sure, and that will be nice, that's nice I mean, and now we can do small fillet here, on this edge, so fillet 0.5, and click here so these two edges are 0, 0.5 now I can see that my PC is, is working very slow because it's hard for him but that may be better because I can work slowly and you can follow me now sketch on front plane is the next thing rectangle by two points I'm gonna choose and sketch something like this. It should go uh, only on this this handle and come on, smart dimension. It goes from this edge to the origin 60. So it's something like going through this point. Exit the sketch and extract cut. I'm gonna choose through all bolts, so it's something like direction 2. That's it. 
and let's see what's next the next thing is a sketch on the right plane so for a start let's uh, let's draw one center line somewhere around here and one center line from the midpoint of this one to the origin so make sure this one is vertical this one is what oh here it is <laughs> this one is horizontal and push it down somewhere around here because it should be from the origin let me check 36.25 and this dimension is is how much looks like i didn't check this wait please <laughs> So after checking my parts, <laughs> I found out that this dimension is 55. So, <coughs> like nothing is happening, and we are drawing one cycle. No, we can draw a three-point arc. Make sure you don't make some relation. You can draw it here. Okay, make sure these two are vertical. And this arc and this point are midpoint. Wow, it's so small now. And the radius is 200. Okay, and 47.5. So, offset entities uh, 47.5. Bi directional. No, 47.5. Uh, and this it's so it is 23.75 I forgot how do you say uh, let's come on this <laughs> so let's do a mirror entities around the center line and we can trim uh, no power trim you just you are just closing this loop and get back to this option if you want offset by 175 and not by directional a side chain yes a reverse to inside that's it now pay attention because we are extracting this like this offset by 140 oh that's quite a lot and up to body this way and select this body Hmm, let's offset less. 70. Oh, this was the. Uh huh. So just change direction, <laughs> I forgot. So get it back to 140. Okay. And the uh, result is merged. Well, wait, I have to check. It should it be merged? <laughs> yes, it should be merged. So, <coughs> uh, let's draw a sketch on the front plane. And it goes uh, converting this edge. And draw a curve by two points from this point somewhere around here. And choose line and uh, it goes here. And it's uh, 30. Again, I forgot to see one dimension. <laughs> I can't believe. Okay, make it tangent. And here also. Yeah. 
have to select all three edges and you'll get something like this okay and one last thing move this point like this take a smart dimension from this edge to from this point to this edge and type in 0 0.5 or it should be in the opposite way what the hell I'm doing I'll check it in the next part of the tutorial, sorry. So sketch, extra the surface, sorry. Uh, yes, 70 one direction, 70 other direction. And that was everything for today. See you in my next part, I hope. Thanks for watching.